Welcome to Today's Issues, a community service program informing you of the issues and events in the four state area. Now, here are the issues for today on KNEO 91.7 FM. Good morning. This is Luke Taylor with your KNEO Capital Report. Missouri Representative Eric Burleson called in from Washington, D.C. this past week to update us on the vote to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress, as well as other issues. We'll join him now with that update. Eric Burleson here, your congressman for Missouri's 7th Congressional District, providing you an update on what happened in Washington, D.C. this week. This week, the Oversight Committee voted to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress for failure to comply with the congressional subpoena. I'm on Oversight Committee, and I voted in support of this. As a member of the Oversight Committee, I've seen the evidence for myself showing President Biden knew of, participated in, and benefited from his family cashing in on the Biden name. All the while, Joe, Hunter, and the entire family has played up the theatrics to distract from their corruption. Not only did Hunter Biden fail to appear before the committee for a deposition, but he attempted to make a mockery of the oversight committee by appearing and then quickly leaving when we took up the resolution. I will continue to fight to get to the truth for the American people. Also this week, in an Education and Workforce Subcommittee hearing, I was able to advocate for more competition in the healthcare industry. While Democrats see government as the answer to healthcare woes, I believe the real obstacle to affordable and access lies in over-regulation. Complicated rules stifle competition. They limit choices and they raise costs for everyone. The House passed three bills this week. We passed the Stop Settlement Slush Fund Act of 2023 to prohibit the government from using settlement agreements to funnel money to special interest groups. We also passed two resolutions under the Congressional Review Act to block the Biden administration of regulation. The first resolution would force the Biden administration to follow the rules that they negotiated in the Infrastructure and Jobs Act, specifically the Buy America provisions. And the second resolution would block the Biden administration's joint employer rule. This rule is harmful to businesses such as franchising and contracting businesses. It undoes decades of precedent and placing regulatory burdens on small businesses and franchises. I am a co-sponsor of this resolution. This week, the latest episode of the Fresh Freedom Podcast dropped with special guest Chad Wolf. Chad is the former Acting Secretary of Homeland Security under President Trump. This episode focuses on the the Biden border crisis and how we can fight back to secure our border. You can listen or watch it on Twitter or X, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or Rumble. And that's all I have for this week. If you need help with any federal agency where you'd like to write me or subscribe to the weekly newsletter, head on over to burleson.house.gov. Eric Burleson here, fighting for you. 7th District Representative Eric Burleson can be reached at his Washington, D.C. office at 202-225-6536. This has been Today's Issues. For more information about the issues you've just heard, call 417-451-5636. Today's Issues is presented as a public service of KNEO, 91.7 FM, a sky-high radio network.